Gikuyu, the first Kikuyu man, is instructed by God, to ascend to the top of Kiranyaga where he receives his mission to establish the house of Mumbai. God later sends him a wife, Mumbai. Mumbai Muthaiga is regarded as the mother of the Gikuyu people. Together, Mumbai and Gikuyu had ten daughters but since it was a bad omen to utter the number ten, they instead called it, Full Nine. It was from these nine daughters, on the spot where the fig tree grows, that the house of Mumbai, the nine Kikuyu clans of Akira, Agachiku, Aramu, Ambi, Angar, Anjiru, Angue, Aethaga, and Aetharandu, was forged. And it's from here that the matriarchal society of the Ajikuyu begins. But there was the tenth daughter whose name was Wamiu aka Warijia, who as a result of having a child out of wedlock, so the story goes, went on to found or establish the Akamaba nation. Not much is said about her and how she founded the Akamba nation. All ten daughters' names are very popular names for Gikuyu females to this day, linking them to their original mothers. If you have happened to date ladies from the mountain like me, I have actually dated about six and they are actually really good. Until they start asking for things I don't have like money. According to the elder, Kikuyu women have been free from way back. He says most are no-nonsense, demanding, and have very high expectations from men. Many draw inspiration from Wangu Wamakari. Things were so bad during her reign of terror that men even tried in vain to stage a coup by impregnating all women so as to overthrow Wangu Wamakari and the female leadership when all were expectant and vulnerable. It is believed that the old Gikuyu women they were so daring that they slept with other men as a recreational or social activity. But why you may ask? This was also meant to break jinxes from cursed husbands and to limit the inheritance of negative genes such as stupidity. Which in my opinion was not a bad thing, as long as it is not my wife doing it. They also had something called, Kiyithia, which simply means swinging or sleeping with more than one man. It was also not just meant to give bachelors a taste of what they were missing, and lure them into getting married, but also offered an outlet for their sexual urges, considering unmarried women were strictly forbidden to have premarital sex. Unmarried women who lost their virginity and got pregnant could only be married off as second wives, and derogatorily referred to as, gochokyo. That matriarchal elements still exist in the community is no secret. Kikuyus, Unlike women from other communities, inherit property such as land and still have a lot of say in the naming of children. To them, children belong to mothers, and in the event of separation or divorce, they take them. Shockingly, some even pay their own dowry. Some men even claim that when their ladies are married to men from other ethnic communities, they ensure their children who are clueless about their father's language speak Kikuyu. And in case of separation, they go with the children. To them, children belong to mothers. But some of the Ajikuyu ladies are really hardworking and go-getters. That you cannot discredit them. They are the first women in Kenya to venture into industries majorly viewed as masculine. Like the construction industry and the matatu industry. With a population of over 8 million as of 2019 which means they account for 17.13% of the total population of Kenya. And in terms of population, it's of the same size as the population of Togo, Sierra Leone, and four times more than the population of Namibia and Gambia. Something else you didn't know is that the Ajikuyu community completely swallowed a community that originally resided in Mount Kenya known as the Agumba. The Agumba people were an ethnic group who inhabited the forests of Mount Kenya but are now either extinct or assimilated. The Agumba of Meru tradition spoke a Kalenjin dialect that bears similarity to present-day Okiek languages. The Kikuyu are not only in Kenya but also in other African countries, like Tanzania where they are referred to as the Sukuma and the largest tribe in Tanzania. The Ruwila, Kimbu, Nalamba, and Iambai people of the Aramba district in the Singida region of Tanzania. They also have close ties with Wanyaturu also known as Arimi of the Singida region of Tanzania. Not forgetting the Holo Holo tribe in DR Congo. The Ajikuyu contribution to Kenya's national building and economic forestation cannot be underestimated. 
having produced great activists, authors, and academicians. Also in media and arts with the likes of Tom Morello a Grammy Award-winning guitarist and many more. In business, sports, and politics the list is endless. And that's the matriarchal house of Mumbai.